Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going through the factorializer number in Free Code Camp. Um, this is part of the basic algorithm scripting section. So we need to just return the factorial of a provided integer. Um, in this case, it's represented as n or, or num actually um, in the example here. And let's say if num is five, we need to return one times two times three times four times five, um, which gives us 120. Um, so only integers greater than or equal to zero will be supplied to the function. Um, so I guess this could take in zero, could take in five, could take in 100. We just need to return the factorial of that. So one way to do this, um, and actually I guess there's two ways I can think of um, without sort of having to come up with a recursive function. So that's just a function that calls itself within itself. Um, but I'll do sort of show the, the two methods that I um, can think of off the top of my head at the moment. So that would be a for loop, for loop. Um, and we can also do a while loop as well. So quite similar, um, slightly different in sort of their execution, but hopefully I'll be able to sort of show you both of these. So the for loop example, we would just need to initially um, sort of set a product. So this is what we're going to return. Um, and we'll just set that to one because we need to times equals basically some of the, the values that we'll be getting from num as we go through the for loop. Um, so we can set that now and actually just below we'll return product. So of course at this point it would just return one. Um, and what we need to do is update that product um, with each of the values going down starting at num and then doing so five times one and then it would be four times five and then three times four times five if that makes sense. So it was sort of imagine brackets around here and we're obviously updating the product with each each um, loop as we go through. So if we do four and I'm gonna do a, you can do it both ways. So incrementing or decrementing, I think it makes more sense to go from, you know, sort of from five to one in this instance. So we'll do let i equal num. Um, and then whilst i is greater than zero, do i minus minus. Um, and if that's not clear, I'll just log out i. So you can see exactly what's happening here. So we're going from five, four, three, two, one. Right, um, so all we actually want to do is we could do product and then equals product times i, um, like so. And that should, yeah, pass the algorithm here. Um, but shorthand way to write this, and you sort of might have spotted that as I was doing it, would be to times equals i. And doing that, enter, same thing. So. Here we are, we're returning 120 for passing in five as the factorial, which is perfect. So that's the, I guess, the for loop example um, using a decrementing for loop. As I said, you could change this out to be incrementing. Um, I think you just have to start at one um, and then maybe add one to the num, if I remember correctly, um, doing this previously. But um, there's the for loop and then while loop, again, quite similar. Um, I barely use while loops, but it's quite good to practice. Um, every now and then. So actually we'll start with the same. So product, let product equal one. And while, and then we want to add our condition here. So while num is greater than zero, and then we open this out. And here's sort of what we're, we're gonna do. So we're obviously gonna be updating the product. So product again times equals num. And then what we actually want to do is sort of step down through num, um, right? So we start at five here, when we, we go through the loop first time, and then you want to do num minus minus, so now it would be four, and then it would go through again, and then it would be three, and it would go through again, all the way to zero, where it would stop and then return, and sort of come out of this while loop, and then we just want to return product, which by this point should have been updated now to, let's say 120, when we're passing in five. And there we go, so there's the sort of two solutions, a for loop and a while loop, um, and as I mentioned, there would be, I guess, a recursive um, solution as well. Uh, I'm not gonna code that out now. Feel free to um, give it a go. If you sort of understand recursion, it's, I guess, a more sort of certainly more complex um, topic in JavaScript um, where if essentially you'd, you could write a function um, and then call that function within the body of itself. Um, so sort of obviously fire it off and, and keep going, but similar to, I guess, the while loop here where we're taking a num um, and also sort of mutating it here and using it to find that product. But 
yeah, let me know if you have a, a better solution to, to any of these, and obviously the recursive one as well. Um, I'd be interested to see what you come up with, and I'll see you in the next one.